Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another useful video. So today we are looking at how to clear cache files, junk files and make your PC or laptop perform really really fast. So this will help boost your graphics performance, help your boot time and as well as help clear all that junk files that's available on PC or laptop. Even if you have looked into other videos, so make sure to watch this video till then because you'll find a lot of new settings I'm sure. So yeah, before we begin this video, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. I have made several other useful related videos regarding Windows as well as clearing up network issues. If internet is not accessible on your PC, so I have made videos regarding that as well. So a lot of you guys really found it very helpful. That's why I'm making this video again. So be it Windows 10 or Windows 11, any version that you are using. So this video will help your PC perform faster. So without wasting any more time, let's begin with the first setting then. First one is very, very simple, but yet a lot of people neglect this one. This is really helpful, especially if you own a laptop so let's go ahead and check that setting here so you have to go to start obviously then click on settings so whatever setting you are looking you can just go ahead and find that setting here right now what we are doing is to type graphic settings so we'll go to graphic settings click on here by default this is turned off on most laptops and pcs that i've seen so make sure to turn this thing on and restart your pc so without restarting you can't expect that performance so restart your pc this will help boost your graphics performance and once you turn on it reduces latency and improves performance so yeah little step here but that goes a long way so that's the first setting we have seen here second one is storage sense so you may be knowing this one or may not be knowing this one but this thing helps really boost up your pc's performance so especially i've seen again this thing is turned on by default you have to turn this thing on click on configure storage sense and run it now so as you can see i have enabled this one you to do this one delete files in my recycle bin if they have been there for over 30 days so make sure you have kept to 30 days or you can also keep it to 14 days so that won't be of any issue and also delete files in my downloads folder so you should keep this to never because you may have downloaded some software in the downloads folder or you may have copied some files in the downloads folders of c drive so again you don't want that unless you require to clean up right so once you have done this one you can always click on clean now for now because i have done that already we'll go to this back and see the temporary files here so it's taking 11.9 gb so what's 11.9 gb of files has been taken by c drive so make sure always keep that c drive as clean as possible you just have to install the software that's really important to you in the c drive and keep all your personal files folders images whatever it may be personal stuff keep it to other drive even if you have not partitioned you only have the c drive in your pc or laptop you have to do the partition how to do the partition very easily when you are in windows here i'll show you in the another video just a while ago when i scanned after the windows update so there was another one here which said downloads folder for the windows update so again you can easily clear that as well so that gave me around like 2 to 3 gb of extra space for my c drive so that really boosted the pc's performance right now it's not here because i have already cleaned up so this is the downloads folder you don't want to check this one unless you are sure of what's there in the downloads folder which is found in c drive so i'll just show you where it is found if i just open the my computer or pc so you'll go to c drive right so or you can access this downloads folder right so this is the downloads folder that you are seeing here that has 9.95 gb because i have copied some of the stuff there so you can always clean this one or keep it as it is depends on you so again delivery optimization file so whenever windows gives new update so keep this one for a while and after that when windows is functioning all well there is no issue with the windows update and then you can go ahead and check this one as well so this will instantly give me 1.68 gb of clear space right Right? So again, that really helps boost the performance as well. So thumbnails, temporary internet files, different virus temporary files. So make sure everything is checked here. And once everything is done, click on remove files. So again, it takes a while because you have not done this thing for a while, right? So that's the thing here. So it instantly got me, it was like 68 GB, and now 70 GB free space. So this is the first thing that you want to do. Again, apps and features here. So again, whatever app that is not used by you. So for example, 3D Viewer, so you don't use this often, you can just go ahead, click here and click on uninstall. So this is what you want to do. Again, you can filter by what drive you have stored those software. So 
for that extra access again click on this optional features so again go through this one so suppose let's say you don't use windows fax and scan you don't need this as well so you can just go ahead and click on uninstall this is the thing that basically you have to do to increase the performance of your PC and give that extra free space for C drive. Another thing, click on other here so it will show you what is occupying more space that's taking a while. So you can click that and see. Again, if you are not using that, you can just straight away go ahead and delete those files. For example, C drive AMD file is using 1.08 GB. So basically, again, it is taking C drive because that's what matters here. So that's the second setting that I wanted to show you. There is a lot that you can do here. So once you are in storage, I'll show you another very important one to give that extra boost performance. So this is the third setting that I'm showing you. Here you'll find optimized drives, right? So click on this one. This is basically defragmenting your drives. So let's imagine a room full of random stuff thrown in here and there. And once you clean up that, once you organize the stuff, you will find a lot of free space in there, right? So that is what this basically does optimized drives so by default click on c drive c drive is the most important thing that you want to do again and again to keep it clean so click on this one click on optimize and this is the one that shows so yeah it optimized right so you can change the setting and keep it scheduled so this is what i recommend run on a schedule that is monthly or you can keep it daily so i would suggest keep it to monthly and increase task priority that's all fine so you can keep it to c drive all drives also you can optimize again depends on your preference so i would say keep it to your windows operating system which is installed in c drive so yeah click on optimize and every month it will optimize automatically and keep it neat and tidy so this will really improve the pc's performance for sure so this is the third setting that i showed here let's move on to another one which is in taskbar so just control shift escape will bring the task manager yeah not taskbar sorry task manager here click on performance tab this will give you this open resource monitor at the bottom just click on this one and that will bring to this window deep diving into the settings here so this status running indicates that all these programs are currently running so here a lot of things are required to run the windows obviously and here you'll find the description so this is really important for example this western digital backup service for me it's not needed right now i can go ahead and end process so that's what you want to do suppose say that you don't understand what's going on with this one here so i can always right click and click on search online so this will give you information on what is that right so that will again help you know what's going on there uh, look for those things that is not required by you for example led keeper 2.exe this is uh, not required by me i'll just go ahead and click on that end process and click on end process so this will bring that extra boost to the cpu as well as memory so it won't occupy much space even for the memory here as you can see there are plenty of stuffs that running here so what's not required you can just go ahead right click and end the task but make sure that you know what you are doing. So that's really important because a lot of process will require windows to be able to run. So that's again important here. And once we are in, this is basically monitoring what's going on. So even with the network, so what software is using the internet. So that is what shown up here. So this will help you know what's actually taking up the internet data. So for example, Firefox browser is open on my PC and that's consuming the internet here, right? So easily you can know that let's move on to this startup here while we are on the task manager quick one i think you'll be knowing what i'm trying to show here so basically status so startup whenever you start your windows so what are the things that's going to start automatically so for me here i have enabled all these things which are required by pc to run and these are the things that's not required at all why would microsoft edge run when i just power on the system right so it's not required just go ahead and click on disable same with the wondershare studio same with the steam same with the ccleaner dex so you may have different programs or applications running there you just go ahead and disable those which is not required just these basic like audio drivers so audio softwares or important ones just make sure that it is enabled the rest is all disabled and it will give you instant boot up time so your boot up times will be really fast there so again going on with the details here what you can do is to look for those services that is running and look for the programs that you are aware that is not required to run so just go ahead and you can always end the task or go to services here right so this is the service tab again so what we will do is to 
click on start here just type in services and as you can see app so click on services here so this will bring all the services that's running inside your pc it may be running right now it may be running at some other times as well so basically you can filter out here so these are the tasks or services that's currently running the bottom one that you see with the status nothing showing here it's probably stopped right now and how it is managed is written here so this is the detail that i wanted to share with you so basically it's clearly described here on what is this particular service doing on your pc let's say xbox live game save what you do with the xbox live game save when you don't have the xbox related thing right so you're not gaming as well you can just go ahead click on properties and click on star type manual or click on disabled right so next time when you actually require that uh, task or service to be opened you can just go ahead with the start and open that app or software or program it will open normally so it won't affect your windows or pc's performance it will rather boost it so similar with other things as well wps office cloud service which is not required so for you it may be already running actually and that's consuming your cp as well as memory you can just go here click on startup and make sure it is disabled so that's not required at all right so that's the thing that you want to do so just go through this one spend a little bit of time and see what's necessary what's not necessary you don't have to fear about what is all this stuff here it may seem boring but that's really really important to you or to your pc's performance yeah that's the thing you want to do as you can even see what i have done with the thing here running and tweaks that i have done here you too can do the same thing so this is services that's running on your windows which is really important the next one is let's go to ms config here just type in ms config config by clicking start which will take you to system configuration again this is basic so boot here when you click on boot click on advanced options and you may have plenty of processors here right so you may have amd's or intel's cpu but then again that could hold so many processors and that's not utilizing it to your boot up time so that's why your boot up is very very slow so make sure you check this one and keep it to the maximum processors that's available on your pc so then click on ok then click on apply button so this will increase your boot up times means when you press on power button very quickly windows will boot up again with the startup here that we have seen with the task manager and again you can open the tools here again like resource uh, monitor task manager so this is basically a shortcut that you can use to open these things so if you click on programs click on launch so all the programs gets launched here you can install uninstall computer management yeah with the computer management another i would like to show you here which is really important disk management yeah this is what i wanted to show you i want to make a separate video on this one actually i'll show you very quickly so if you have only one partition you can just go ahead and click on partition to make it some other partitions as well so you can divide the space some space will be completely unallocated actually so you can go ahead and create new simple volume and click on next and see the mb space that's showing here and click on next and click on okay then you'll get a separate drive there of that space which is which was earlier unallocated or sometimes let's say you have one terabyte space of hard disk but then only 500 gb it is showing up right where is the other 500 gb gone so it will be here which is unallocated you can just go ahead create simple volume and create with that space so that is the way you have to use this partition space here it may seem complex to you i'll make separate video if you want let me know in the comment section down below again that's the management of the disk right there so guys that's it in this video i think this video has gone a little long but then again i hope you have learned something out of this video and hope this was helpful to you if yes don't forget to click that thumbs up button and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here don't forget to click on that subscribe button i'll leave some interesting videos link in the description section so make sure to watch that video as well and uh, yeah that's it in this video you guys have a very nice day i will see you in the next one till then take care everyone Bye -bye.